It's Tom Salemi. I'm here at OIS at AAO in Las Vegas. I'm here with Barry Cheskin, founder, CEO, and president of PowerVision. Welcome. Thank you, Tom. Good to oh, be here. Always great to have you back. You had a bit of news to release today. We're happy to have you say it on our stage. Can you tell us a bit about Fluid Vision 2020? Sure. Uh, very exciting news. For the first time, we announced at uh, this meeting the new uh, product in our lineup, the Fluid Vision 2020. Uh, the Fluid Vision 2020 you know, adds to the power of our already great product. It nearly doubles the amount of accommodation that will be offered uh, to patients. And that means that patients will now get 2020 vision near, intermediate, and far all across the board. So a major improvement over something that was already terrific. Very exciting news. We expect to have it in the clinic in the beginning of next year. That's exciting. And you uh, play the role of MythBuster up there on stage. I did. What is the myth and what are you trying to bust? Okay, I did. I had one myth that I wanted to bust, and that myth was that, um, that intraocular accommodating lenses that are implanted inside the capsule somehow over time stop working because of their location in the capsule. And that just absolutely is not true based on our clinical data. Um, our lens, we have follow-up data now out to 24 months showing it's rock stable in its performance, visual acuity, and all measures it continues to work. And we believe actually that the capsule is the ideal location for any intraocular lens, including our accommodating intraocular lens. And what is next? I don't want to downplay the Fluid 2020 news, Fluid Vision 2020 news, but what's next for Power Vision? Sure, well, we're on a process we, of continuing to reinvent ourselves. And uh, after the Fluid Vision 2020 moves into the, uh, into the clinic, future developments include adding Tericity, adding Toric to our platform, shrinking the incision size continually, uh, getting it down to 2.8 uh, millimeter incision, and then ultimately adding the feature of post-implant adjustment. That's correct, correcting refractive error uh, after implant in the, uh, in the eye. Every accomplishment will be announced here at OIS, correct? You bet, Tom. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure.